guys, welcome back. This week we find ourselves en route to Outback, New South Wales. We've found a stretch of road called the Long Paddock and we're looking forward to exploring it. We might even find ourselves one of the best campsites along the way. Well guys, what are we waiting for? Let's get into the adventure and welcome to Outback, New South Wales. All right, we're on an adventure yet again, which I am so stoked about. So we've just left Echuca and last night we've looked it up and we've decided we're going to do this thing called the long road. Paddock. The long paddock. We know absolutely nothing about it. It was pretty cool how we found it, to be honest. We looked up roads and things to do um, in New South Wales because we don't know much about it. And we found this site called visitnewsouthwales.com. And then you can go in and you can select how many days you sort of want and then what part of New South Wales you want to tour. And then you can just go through and choose the one. So we've decided this is for us. It's actually what we were thinking about doing without knowing that it was a route and there was things to see along the way. So come along with us as we now enjoy this mission tour together and figure out what this is all about. I'm hoping with the sound of the name, you know, it's going to be more rural and talking about the farmland and things like that. We're here at our first sign. We uh, did miss the first one. I had someone up my bum and I didn't want to turn off the highway. So we're here at our first sign. Let's figure out what this is about and see what it tells us. Come along on this journey with us as we head all the way to Burke. This was a stock route. So the Long Paddock was initially a stock route back in the day and they believe 10 to 30,000 years ago that there was a uplift in the ground and it lifted the ground 15 meters above where it was and from where we're standing behind me you can see how the trees in the very back are down a bit and then the ones behind us are level with us so the road now is what we know as the Cobb highway Cobb was named after Cobb and co which hopefully we get some more information on as we continue this journey and see what else we find but I'm very excited for this adventure. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed she's all sealed these days and not like it used to be, but you get that on the big jobs and I'm still very eager to explore. So let's get into it. made it to camp for the night good old Denny kicked us out we don't have a ute so not allowed in the town oh that was bad what do you <laughs> oh. mate no. come on <laughs> well we've seen Denny what's it actually called is it Deneloquin Deneloquin there you go I didn't even know that I just assumed that it was Denny there you go. So that's where the Denny Ute Muster is held every year. This year it's in October. I don't know if that's always the case. But we're not here in October, so we miss out. Unfortunately, the rains have just come in. Unfortunately, fortunately, like we've beat the beat the rain, we got set up in time. So hopefully we stay dry, fingers crossed. We haven't tested the new system this way. We've been faffing around for probably three hours, I reckon, trying to choose a campsite. Hey, it's been shocking. We're in gum country, gum tree country. We knew the rain was sort of coming. We don't know. It's not meant to be much, but just in case. So we're trying to be in an area that's not going to flood. And with gum trees, I just don't want them to fall on us. So we've had to like make sure that we're in a spot that isn't going to happen. And have we chosen the right one? Who bloody knows? Our luck. We haven't, but. So this will be us for tonight. We'll set up camp. We'll just be chilling out. 
just enjoying the view still. Have a go at that right behind us. Our own little beach access into the river. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. I'm excited for tomorrow. So get excited for tomorrow. Let's get stuck into it. Back on the track and see what else we can find. Puppy found a stick. The muck mat isn't for you to chew your sticks on, mate. Hey? Is it? G'day and good morning. How you going? It's meant to rain today. It's going to get boggy in this area. So we're chugging on and just going to do our best to just get that little bit further so we can try and get the warmer weather, get away from the rains that are keep coming on and off. I guess it's that time of the year, so it's got to be expected. What are you doing up there, peeping Tom? Oh, not a lot. About to get down out of here. Oh yeah? Do you need a hand or you're all good? Don't be falling. <laughs> we haven't got a no. step yet. <laughs> I'm all Hold on, we'll fit. <laughs> We need to get a step eventually for poor Maggie. Whether we get something that goes in the toe ball that she can like stand on has to be decent, not a toe ball, otherwise she'll still roll her ankle, all right? So <laughs> has to be a proper foot step. I have seen them made through a couple of companies, but we're just trying to think about it. We're not in any rush. I think Maddie is, because she's already fallen out once, the poor bugger. <laughs> what happened yesterday, mate? Day one, 10 minutes in. I fell out of the troopie and rolled my ankle. <laughs> but I, I, <laughs> when I'm not. Eddie rush, this higher than my whole legs, and you just step up on them. <laughs> not in a rush. <laughs> it's not on my priority list anyway. <laughs> to be honest, this this sort of country and everything has just been awesome, with so many different rivers around to just camp along has just been wicked to be honest to just go to the next one the next one the next one and we're only showing you like a small amount of the campsites or the rivers that are available you know we're just choosing the ones that we're staying at pros and cons we camp in these areas is you've got to really watch these trees because they can just drop a limb at any time i don't know anything about them all i know is that can happen we did a little bit of research and apparently there are some signs and it's mainly the hotter weather, but I ain't taking that risk. I've seen people's photos and videos and it is devastating and that would honestly just put an end to our trip. So I wanna make sure we uh, do the right thing, get the right spots. But the pro of it is you always have firewood. There's always guaranteed firewood right by your campsite. And I'll quickly, actually, I've just seen in the background, give you an idea of what I mean by they literally just drop limbs, all right? This is a tree right in front of me. Just, just hanging. That's what sort of happens. But you get that on the big jobs. We're trying to be as safe as we can. We are under a tree, but we've looked at it and I think it was all right. It didn't fall on us, so I must have made the right call. Today, let's chug on. Let's keep exploring this beautiful area together. It has been unreal. I just can't wait to see what's around the corner. What a spot right next to a river all right that's enough let's get into it i'm excited all right i just love this stuff so much let's go I'll be honest, that's my favorite job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> All your friends are now my enemies. Always tell you what to do. Can't keep up with all the bullshit that throw in your
We're jumping into the next day. We didn't really film yesterday. The weather was not the best. It was super cloudy, raining on and off all day. So we just chilled out, got a fire cranking, sat by the fire, and just enjoyed this little spot. But seriously, what a spot. This would have to be our favorite yet. We're away from the trees. We've got a grass spot right, right there. Seriously, right on the water's edge. Plenty of wood around. So we're just chilling out. Today we are just gonna stay put and enjoy this beautiful location. The water isn't as gorgeous or inviting as you would like, but nonetheless, I'm still gonna be trying to jump in for a swim after. The sun is meant to be out all day. We're getting some solar here in the background. I think you might be able to see hanging up, which is charging our batteries beautiful, plus the solar panel on the roof. So our Blue Eddy is getting the charge that it needs, which is fantastic. Another note with it too, we haven't really ever had a solar blanket. This is sort of a, a learning phase for us. So we've hung the solar blanket up so it's directly facing the sun. And we actually found, so we laid it down and it was getting about 76 watts. Now, sitting up here like this, 120. So almost doubled our input just by hanging it up like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. Today we are not doing much. Maddie is playing around with some edits and things like that. I'm gonna be going for a swim. I might even wet a line. I don't know if there's any fish here. So wish me luck. Even if there was fish in there, you could nearly guarantee I'm not gonna hook one. <laughs> At least you know your capabilities. <laughs> don't be like Dal. I hate to break it to you, but he did go for a fish and in typical bow fashion, all he caught was a snag. You know the best thing? is we've always got food. We're not relying on my fishing. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have to get you to start fishing, eh? <laughs> this spot really would have to be one of our favorite spots so far, hey? Most definitely. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So peaceful. There's people down the very start where you first enter into the campsite and then they didn't come any further because there was a lot of low hanging trees and they all had caravans. So we've snuck around there and jagged this spot, which is an absolute ripper. I really, like, I know the water's not inviting, but I just want to jump in. The only thing that scares me is, as you can see in the background, we've got these trees just submerged and stuff, and I would hate to be the guy that ends up on the news for an impaling, impaling himself by jumping in. <laughs> but I want to. The weather's that good. Oh, well, you get that. So we have been on the road almost a week now and it's time to do some laundry now in this new setup we obviously don't have a washing machine and laundromats are probably something that we're going to use along the way but at the moment like now we're in the middle of nowhere with no laundromat in sight so we're reverting back to what we used to do before we had the caravan which is the scrubber bag now this thing has been an absolute lifesaver and it's pretty much just uh, <laughs> Go away, Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> now it is pretty much just a dry bag that's got some ribbing on the inside, which makes it so that it can agitate the clothes and stuff like that, and a little breather. Now we used to use powder or liquid um, for the detergent. But we're actually going to give these sheets a bit of a go. I've just done two loads already and I'm pretty impressed so far. The thing with the powder is it always used to leave a residue and the powder never really dissolved because we're just washing in cold water. But these, these dissolve pretty well. So it says for a small load use half a sheet of these. But I am actually using half a half a sheet because really there's not much in here. So... Half a, sheet, half a half a sheet it is and then I pretty much just chuck that in the bottom of the bag and pour some water in and then I just load it on up with clothes and then you just grab the bag roll it up clip it undo this little air vent and release all the extra air from it do that little valve back up and then it's time to scrub away. 
I'm going to empty out the water that's in this and replace it with fresh water so that we can give it a bit of a rinse. Back in a moment. Now we want to get as much of the soap off the clothes as possible. So fresh bucket of water, fill her on up. And then we're pretty much just going to scrub away again. Once I've drained it, it's then time to wring them out and hang them on the line. Well guys, what did you think of Outback New South Wales? This was our first little taste of it and we are excited to keep exploring these beautiful river camps along the way. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Thanks for sticking with us. You're an absolute bloody legend. We'll catch you next week. See ya! <laughs>